Hey, Speed Demons, here's your XYZ all-purpose keyboard shortcuts to help get you hooked on your keyboard and get you to happy hour. Now, I consider these to be as soon as possible basic keyboard shortcuts that you need to put into action to help cut down on the office click -its. That's that click, 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 click when you're using your mouse when you should be using your keyboard. And if you're going to join me on this journey this month as we explore our keyboard, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of these videos. Shortcuts is the key to crumpling up your everyday tasks, exploding your productivity, and it really is the fastest way to double your productivity, not just here in PowerPoint, but Outlook, Excel, OneNote, Word, and just about any other program you're using, Evernote, Camtasia, Gmail, uh, Photoshop, you name it, shortcuts are the key. That's why I say this works so well at juicing up your productivity. And the keyboard shortcuts here are just X, Y, Z. That's all you have to remember. And they all go here with the control key. So you have control X to cut, which is twice as fast as a normal copy and delete. And it works really well with tables and word. And I'll show you that in a second. You have control Y for redo, which is best used in a sweeping motion. Again, we want to focus on the strategies and techniques to what we're doing here. We don't want to just learn or memorize a shortcut. And then you have control Z to undo. And I'm going to show you how to control the number of how many undos you have and why you you don't want to add too many. So let's start with the cut shortcut, the X of X, Y, Z. And a cut is simply twice as fast as a normal copy, delete, and control V to paste, which I see people do. So instead, you just hit control X to cut. You're immediately going to copy that to your clipboard and delete the object. You can then control V to paste on this slide or somewhere else. And a great place to use this, if I flip over to Word, is here in Word when you have tables. All right, if you select a table and you just hit the delete key, you just delete the information within a table. That's a little shortcut, I guess, itself. Normally, though, if you want to delete a table, you have to select the table, then hit backspace. What I find is actually faster to do just because my hands already on the left side of my keyboard. I select the table. I control X to cut it. All right. That does put it on my clipboard. So if I go back to a different word document or something like that and I paste it, or if I flip back to PowerPoint, all right, I still have that there as a control V to paste, but control X to cut is your first X, Y, Z shortcut. And you should put this to work for you as soon as possible if you aren't already using it. Next, you have the control Y keyboard shortcut for X, Y, Z formula. So the redo shortcut, you can also use F4. So how does it work? Let's say that I want to distribute all these circles horizontally on my slide based on the left and right side of my slide. I come up to the Arrange Tool dropdown. I'll show you the non-shortcut version first. The Align Tool, make sure you're set to Align to Slide and then Distribute Horizontally, and your circles will automatically spaced out. Well, now what do you do if you want to do the second row? Well, instead of coming and clicking through the menus again, all I need to do is just hit Control Y, and PowerPoint will just redo the last action I did. Control Y, I'll do the third column, fourth column, and fifth column. So this is what I'm talking about using the redo shortcut in a sweeping motion. You could then do vertical distributions. I'm just gonna Alt-1-O, one, oh, Alt-1-V one, for distribute vertically, which is some keyboard shortcuts I cover in my C40 Hours mini series. You can hit F4, you can hit Control-Y. It really doesn't matter. You're just kind of sweeping through one after the other like that. All right, you can also do the same thing with colors. If you're using my keyboard shortcuts, so let's say if I select these, Alt-3, you add a shape fill. All right, you can then come through and just F4 or Control Y again. So this again is using that sweeping motion. I missed it there um, to color your object. So that's the Control Y keyboard shortcut. Another important keyboard shortcut to put into action today if you aren't already using it. Lastly, you have the Z in the X, Y, Z formula, which is just undo. And the way this works, if you just start working in PowerPoint, Word, Excel, whatever, and you're doing something, you can control Z to walk yourself back a couple of iterations. All right. So you can combine this with control Y to move forward. If you want to go forward, control Z will walk you back. And the thing I want to show you here, though, is you can set how many of these control Z's you can do. So for example, if you just come up to the file tab, options, advanced options and i'll just do that one more time in case you're writing this down just file menu options the advanced options here you have the ability to set how many undos you can do so how many times you can walk back now you might be tempted to set this at like 100 or something like that but the more undos you have here the more load it's going to have on your program whether it's word excel powerpoint whatever so it's going to slow you down so i typically set mine between 10 and 15 and you just need to make sure that you're either duplicating your slides instead of trying to undo all your way back so that's the control z the final of the xyz keyboard shortcuts here they are on screen again. Here's what they look like on your keyboard, just X, Y, Z. You can see how close it is to the control key. That's why you should start using it. And again, these are your first steps to stopping the office clickets. And again, if you're gonna join me on this journey, for a shortcut month here, just make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any of these videos. If you're just looking for PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including some PDF cheat sheets of shortcuts and other cool resources, just check for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.